In this video, I am going to show you how to make a combo chart in Google Sheets. Kind of like the name suggests, a combo chart is a combination of charts. So this one is a combination of a column chart and a line chart. So these kinds of graphs are useful when you have multiple data sets that you want to compare with each other because it makes it easy to read and understand your data and make comparisons in a combo chart. So in this example data, I have projected sales for the different months of the year, and then I have the actual sales, and then I have the difference between the two. And by plotting this in a combo chart, I can easily compare the three data sets with each other. So making a combo chart is pretty easy. We make it the same way that we make any other kind of chart. Combo charts are a built-in feature in Google Sheets. So the first thing we want to do is highlight the data range that we're going to use to create the chart with. So I'm going to highlight my data range. And then you can either select insert chart here or you can go insert chart. And now I have a chart created. Now sometimes Google Sheets is going to read your data and automatically choose the kind of chart that they think best fits your data. But you can change it by clicking this chart type area. And then you have all of the different options here for charts. So we're looking for the combo chart. So I'm going to select the combo chart. And now I have a combo chart. So that is creating a combo chart. You can see it's a pretty simple process. Now I'm just going to go through some of the editing options that you have with your chart. So in the setup tab, you have the data range, which is this is the range used to create the chart. So if you want to change the range used to create the chart, you can click on this select data range option and adjust the range. You shouldn't need to do this if you highlighted the correct range in the first step. Um, so you probably won't need to do that one. Um, the x-axis area controls what is used for the x or horizontal axis. Again, this is going to be set up correctly, so you probably don't need to edit it. And then the series here, you can change the series in this section. Um, so you can remove series, add new series. Um, and label your series through this option. Um, and then there's some additional check boxes, um, aggregate, switch rows, columns, use row one as headers, use column A as labels. Um, so you can check and uncheck those to make some changes to your chart. Um, the next thing you can do is customize the appearance of your chart. So you can see I have all these different options in this customized tab. So chart style, what this does is background color, border color, font, layout style. Um, so you can change things like that here. In the chart and axis titles, pretty self-explanatory. You can change your titles, um, your fonts, colors, things like that for your titles. Series you can change um, the visualization of your chart. So you can change line styles, opacity, type, uh, and more. You can also add things like error bars, data labels, and trend lines through the series option. The legend allows you to edit the position, the fonts, and the coloring of your legend. So you can see you have some options in there. And then horizontal and vertical axis, here you can change the font styles and colors of each axis. And then lastly, the customization settings for grid lines and ticks. So here you can change things like spacing type, colors, and style. Um, so pretty much all of your standard customization options with any other kind of chart in Google Sheets. Anyways, that's it for this video. That is how to create a combo chart in Google Sheets. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.